NBC News correspondent Steve Patterson is in Greenville, California. So, Steve, Governor Newsom uh, toured the area yesterday. I mean, when when you're going through and seeing what you're seeing this morning, are you still seeing hot spots? I mean, you see hot spots from place to place and especially burning outside of Greenville, where I am right now. But inside Greenville, there's nothing to burn. There's nothing left standing. And it is just one of the most heartbreaking sights. You can see the entire scope of my vision in a 360 panoramic is nothing but ruins of destroyed buildings. As you mentioned, 75 percent of this town gone. Uh, so you see from every once in a while, you know, the scattered memories and remnants of generations that have lived here. This is a gold rush era historical town. We found buildings that were built in the late 1800s that had burned down here. And speaking to families who are now displaced outside of this community and nearby communities that are still at risk, all there is is worry and fear about what is here. And it's going to be a lot of heartbreak as people come back to find nothing left where their home should be standing. Meanwhile, We've been speaking to some of the firefighters who've been dealing with this one fire now for nearly a month as it's burned so much of Northern California. And just focusing on how they deal with this, especially with the heartbreak of a scenario like this. Here's one uh, firefighter talking about just the mentality of having to, to deal with the trauma on this scale. Listen to this. It does take an emotional toll, but they also know that we have a mission to do. There is always another town. There is always another home. And so while it's, it hurts our hearts to see those homes and towns and livelihoods destroyed, um, we also know that we have a job to do. And that means, you know, marching on to the next area to try to protect it. The other thing, of course, is the air quality. I don't dare take my mask off right now. It stings your eyes. It gets in your throat. The air quality is so bad. People in Denver felt it this weekend. Guys, back.